Hello all, welcome once again to another edition of Who Should Be In? And today we're, I'm going to talk about The Expendables, and specifically will be for Expendables 4. And I'll do my usual for this uh, type of segment, I'm just going to talk about basically my fan cast of who I want to see in The Expendables 4 for me. And I'm going to start off with basically the re- recurring kind of cast of the actual kind of main uh, team we've got, obviously. And that is with Sylvester Stallone as Barney Ross. Jason Statham as Lee Christmas, Antonio Banderas as Galgo, Wesley Snipes as Doc, Dolph Lundgren as Gunnar Jensen, Terry Crews as Hail Caesar, and Raddy Couture as Toll Road. Now, within that team, though, I, I would love to see a new member come into it, and that new member for me is someone that I, and as well as the fans as well, that really want to see this person come into this franchise, is Jackie Chan. Now, through the course of the film, I'd love to see somehow... Like Jack Chan's character needs to actually be within the actual story, and that's what I would very much like to see, and just love to see him in this franchise. And there's been talks for some time that uh, from like the second and the third one, that he was supposed to be in it, but just how it's worked out, he hasn't been able to. So for my uh, like returning other kind of like characters, like side characters almost, I want to see Mickey Rourke come back as Tool. I want to see Bruce Willis come back as Mr. Church. I want to see Chuck Norris come back as Brooker. I want to see Harrison Ford come back as Drummer. I want to see Ronda Rousey come back as Luna. Now, you're probably going to think about that one. It's like, really? She was quite horrible. And she was horrible in the third one. But see, as, as terms of just a fighter, I think she is great. But I don't want to see the other three come back. I, just, I, I didn't like them. I thought they were very kind of um, weak and in terms of character. I just didn't really kind of care about them, to be honest. And we've also got... Arnold Schwarzenegger's team as well because obviously when at the end of uh, Expendables 3 we actually had him you know he's obviously starting to build his own team so obviously we've got Arnold Schwarzenegger back as Trench and Jet Li back as Yang Yang but within that team I would like to see Michael Rooker be in that team Uh, an action guy I very much like myself also an action guy who's worked with Stallone quite a bit so I would imagine maybe that could possibly quite work out well for him and another kind of side kind of character I'd love to see um, within this film is Nicolas Cage. Now with Nicolas Cage though, um, he would be a CIA agent working with Bruce Willis and Harrison Ford's character. I think they they three would have a really quite a good strong dynamic together. Now for the villains that I want to see, my main villain that I want to see in Expendables 4 is Steven Seagal. I think he would be a great villain, I think he would be the same kind of type of villain that we got with Van Damme in terms of a huge iconic action star that we all really want to see I think within this franchise I think it would be great as well as his kind of like henchman almost uh, with Dwayne Johnson he would be one of his henchmen as well as Hulk Hogan as well as well as uh, Mila Djokovic would be as uh, as a henchman for the main villain of Steven Seagal as well as returning I would like to see of a villain is uh, Robert Davi who's in Expendables 3 who he done just a wee cameo and I would like to see him and that character maybe build up maybe there's something more to him that I would like to see I think that would be interesting to see to be honest and like, like well, obviously like story wise it's not you got to think of something obviously to get these guys together but it's more like the end I would quite like to see happen where like for instance uh, Milo Djokovic's character like she is bad through the whole film, but at the end she becomes good and decides to get, you know, there's been rumours of it, the Expendables, to get, like, uh, her own team and she becomes a leader with it. And she brings forward Ronda Rousey's character. She tells you should join my team and that's where Ronda Rousey will go with them as well. So there's a couple of little kind of things. I also do think so, uh, one of the Expendables needs to die. I think it would either be Randy Couture or Terry Crews, to be honest. Though I do prefer Terry Crews, so... I would probably rather want Randy Couture, if I'm honest. Um, I just think now so, something needs to kind of um, kind of happen. I think you need to kind of kill someone off. Um, and I'd like to see Antonio Banderas actually leave at the end to have a spin-off uh, called Galgo. I think that would really work. A spin-off, I think. And Stolen did say like a, uh, for the press conference for Expendables 3 that he was thinking about for a spin-off for Antonio Banderas. And also, uh, the director I'd like to see for this film would be John Woo. Uh, uh, he's a great, talented director for action films. I very much like Bar From. I didn't like Mission Impossible 2, to be honest. But, aside from that, I did. I do enjoy 
his other kind of action stuff, obviously, with uh, Hard Target, I like with uh, Van Damme, and Face Off as well, I like uh, very much so. And I, I, was like, I think he'd do a really good job, and he wanted to do actually Expendables 3, I remember, but for some reason he couldn't. And apparently, with this one, I remember that it's going to be uh, set in China, apparently, like there was a whole... They, they managed to get money through with uh, China's and all that, and and also was apparently it's supposed to be coming out in 2017 as well. So here's hoping that at least some of the new ones that I I would love to see. I, I generally think the fans as well of the, this kind of action kind of genre are quite similar. I would imagine. So that's my kind of fan cast I've got here for Expendables. For um, comment down below, tell me what you think. Do you think you'd like to see any of these as the ones you'd like to see in the film that I missed? Please tell me. And hopefully some videos in the future, hopefully coming up soon. So until then, see you later.